What's up, guys? This is the Rifleman, and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my own Empire Total War Let's Play as Venice. And in this episode, uh, we are starting the process of ambushing smaller fleets and growing my navy. So let's get to it. We've definitely got more than that firepower, but the idea was I wanted to deploy such overwhelming firepower that we wouldn't lose any ships and it would be a straight gain of a fourth rate and two fifth rates. In any case, this should open up the uh, the, the uh, cotton trade from Egypt again. Okay, let's set my ships up. We have the weather gauge. Make sure my... Yeah, that's all working. Let's get at them. Yes, the aim is very much to capture capture these vessels, bring them into our service. San Esteban, El Pingue, and San Miguel, if I'm pronouncing those things any, any way correctly. Because in theory we want to go a bit this way and then go like that. Iolo leading the charge with Lapa, Lapa. <laughs> okay, let's probably try. Actually, we might try cut off the fifth rates, leave the fourth rate at the back, and leave them um, scrabbling to catch up. There we go. So we're getting our first hits off. Long range, though. Though we are actually a bit too far away, really. San Esteban is. Well, they're out of the way. But only you get the YOLO, you're gonna loop around like so. more hits into San Miguel, but no actual damage yet. Yolo is going to be ready to fire again, although they've lost a crewman. But I finally got a hit onto that ship. We just we've destroyed a couple of guns. Killed a few crew. But we're looping around, we can start to get into a position where we are gonna hit their stern as well. Might take a bit of damage on the way, but that's okay. Three guns, they've lost over 11 crew. to mast. So it's going to be engaging their fourth rate with things are going to get a bit dicier, especially after the, my ships have had to run the gauntlet past the fifth rates. But they've lost their four mast as well. crossfire there. I think we're too small a lighter ships to sail like this and just kind of maintain a bit of pressure at the head of their line. I 
ultimately this ship's going to loop around like that. Yeah, if I get my fifth and sixth in, they'll keep engaging the head of the column. This ship to try and blast some chain into San Esteban. Same with you. Just try and knock them a bit down to size. So these ships, their aim isn't to capture anything or do anything too crazy, it's just to sit here pumping shots in at range. These two ships just sit here and open fire. To be honest, you're probably going to detach from the group as well. Okay, let's start to actually focus on this fourth rate with a number of our ships. Miguel is routing. Oh no, well, it was wavering. Come on, my man. Okay, if I pop a broad, this broadsword into you, though it's partly done. Surrendered, sinking, routing. Yeah, we're going to continue and you're going to keep attacking. There we go. So sadly one sank, but that happens. We are going to at least take these two ships into our fleet. We've freed up the port. Bring these chaps back to Limassol. In attesa di altri ordini. Probably replenish, but they can't. There's only so much they can do. I mean, we need to start. We do need to start knocking out some of these. Siamo we need to knock out this uh, Ottoman navy, which is damaged, so it's definitely doable. Particularly when there's a risk they'll push in and start to try blockade my capital. So we've still got this fella, but if they go, he goes for Ankara. We've got them covered. Um, if they go for Istanbul, they're in a lot of trouble because they have one organ gun, which granted is dangerous, but they're going to lose all of these troops in a frontal attack. And then we're going to use my foot artillery to just shred a breach with um, with canister shot. Apart from that, though, okay, you're going to actually start, you're going to actually infiltrate Baghdad then. If we can destroy this army, one of these forces is going to go east or Jerevan, knock it out. This army, once it's done, is probably going to push east and take out Baghdad. We will then have a long coastline with um, Persia, but we only need to control a series of bridges. At least around Baghdad. But apart from that, 158, I think that's all we can do. I mean, I might engage that army just because it's a it's a stack of troops that we could probably do with. I mean, they're granted they're they're very much depleted, but it's a force that we could do with attacking, so they don't come back, or at least they can't go back and reform into a new force. We need to start ratcheting forwards against the Prussians and try and deal a more decisive blow. Then once we take out 
the Prussians, it will probably be on to the Polish, and then you've got all the German states who want to have a go. Quicklime is definitely order of the day. But I believe that's next turn. So, minimise casualties. We're going to bombard them. I'm going to put a portion of my line front. The remainder in reserve, just for their own safety. Split the cavalry. Go on, let's carcass shot them. Oops. Move my hussars forward, move my heavy cavalry forward. These light. I'm going to try and charge the 70 seconds. The 70 seconds, I'm going to put a volley in. Oh, he's trying to go for my general. Push my light horse up. Let's try to see if we can. There is another unit hidden in those woods. These dragoons are advancing. They are under fire from my line. We've got some weird sound effects. Push the right flank up. Let my let my infantry continue to shoot down the grenadiers. Okay, my hussars engage the light dragoons. Yeah, it's not that we're ever afraid of of uh, losing or dying to these troops. We just wanted to make sure that we didn't lose too many men unnecessarily. Let's gun down the Freikorps. Oh no, Carcashot. Carcashot killed a handful of my heavy cavalry, but maximum four, that goes to show. If it was quick line, it would have been a lot worse. Lost one guy to that blunderbuss shotgunner. Heck, my general's in that line by accident. Nope, fried car. Although, to be honest, my general's probably going to try to chase that, chase that light infantry down. They fired their shot. They haven't been able to reload. They're too far from the safety of the stakes. There we go. Kill them all. Continue. Yeah, we, need to, we just need to keep increasing the pressure on the Russians. The trouble is right now, well, right now they've got an awful lot of troops just kind of stat there. You guys go after the militia, although going after the militia was never really our focus. Excellent. If we can kill the militia, that would be super. So their army, this army may well have disappeared after the engagement, but this just makes sure of it. I mean, they do have dragoons and stuff left. There we 
go. So hopefully that should be them dealt with. There we go. Can you replenish with a hundred and nearly? People, we, yeah, we are going to reach. We, we we have reached the point where we need to start pushing forward. So let's take three of these conscripts out, put the guns in, move the conscript, no, move the conscript, put a line infantry into Hungary. Signore. I vostri ordini, altri ordini, attesa di ordini. Conscript into you. Pronti, servo vostro, signore. Uomini, attesa di ordini, signore. I vostri ordini. No, not you, exactly. Servo vostro, signore. Cool, we get it. So you need to start um, knocking out some of these troops. I don't want to advance too far. So in terms of quick climb, pretty sure it's next turn. Konya, now we've got you back. You can get on with punch card loom. Signore, altri ordini. So effectively, yeah, I want to recruit garrison armies or reinforcement um, units for these guys. You may well end up staying over in the east to prevent the Polish from breaking through out, breaking breaking through in towards Serbia. We got an election next turn, so let's hit end turn. Austrian ministers on the prowl. The Dutch are still doing their colonial exploits. Exploits at some point, Spain is going to attack us. But this is why we need more. Um, we need more fortifications and more troops in Venice, really. Just across the board. Yeah, continue to raid, that's fine. Don't mind if you raid. Okay, I definitely need to push north now. To try draw the um, Prussians back into action. Ooh, they are going to attack Istanbul. Let's do this. We've got a bunch of extra line infantry as a garrison. We've got a couple of firelock armed citizenries. Got some mortars. Yeah, let's fight it. We should be okay. Bearing in mind they have one organ gun to make a breach, which means it will take them a while. And they have a bunch of line infantry, which can, which will be broken against the walls. So in theory, once the organ guns made the breach, their infantry are gone. It's only their um, cavalry that can push in. In theory. If I get a gap, I will run a cavalryman out to go and try try take out that organ gun but easier said than done do i have defenses oh i do brilliant so you guys can't place defenses that's a bit of a bummer so they're over this way okay let's do something like that Ultimately, we should just uh, build a, build our defences like so. So that's the first four units, well, almost the first four units used up. My line infantry will take most of the hits from their artillery. which are kind of not really useful. You see, they can stay out of and out of their defenses. Put the armed citizenry up on the walls because you may as well. Keep my regiment of horse inside the wall for now. Put my put artillery at the back. Just see if they can lob some shots over the wall. They think they can. Oh yes, they can. So they're going to try and do a bit of counter-battery work, which is excellent. 
this is the corner that's being engaged. The mortars are making merry. I mean, you may as well fire a carcass shot, because that way, even if they're kind of close, they should get. We should be within range. There, yeah, you guys. Might get a bit of friendly fire here. But it's worth it because that's two guns destroyed. Oh, one gun, one horse cheek. Oh, they're broken. Oh, look at that. Awesome. So my oh, artillery can cease fire. They, they don't have a way in now. No, they've come back. So let's let them reacquire the guns before we start shooting again. Make sure my firelock armed citizenry have guard mode on. Make sure you guys are all fireable off. Yeah, they're going to cease fire because they're just not very useful now. Let's put one unit up here. Just to provide a bit of support. It looks like the main support may have to be in front of the main gate. So in case they get in. Colonial line of foot. So those men, they've stopped um, trying to fire the guns because now there are men on the walls to engage. Are their guns back up yet? They're back up, but they're not firing. So my foot artillery can cease fire. sure we squash the grenadiers in particular. Down to 112. The Azars are pushing up. And mortars. They could do a lot of damage if they shot, but I think they want to push them up. Run troops around to meet the archers, don't shoot them themselves. Well, don't try and run my cavalry out, because that will lure all their cavalry in. These are wavering. And mortars are now committing. They're now trying to scale the wall. This is the potentially dodgy one. You men might have to. Actually, no. You're going. You're going to maintain your position here. Okay. The, the gate is open for reason or reasons unknown. So the cavalry may attempt to run in now. It's 
because you've got a, a, a couple of infantry that wanted to run out the gate. That's the Azars routing. It's just the Grenadiers and the hand mortars to deal with now. Run them over the gate just to stop them from them taking it. force out to try and squash some of these quicker. Commit some of my line infantry into this fight to try and kill these guys faster. Free up more troops to support the centre. Don't run away. So this is why having a few more troops is always really useful. Ultimately, you need to run over here cr pretty rapidly, otherwise you're going to lose the gate. But they're running away from it, even though they've got orders to run onto it. Learn these chaps are soon going to rout. There we go. Take them to task. Nearly knocked out another unit. I mean, all of their troops that can get up on the walls are nearly up. Excellent. Everybody hit the Janissary Musketeer unit. Clear them off the wall. Get my cavalry out here. Get my line infantry over on this section of the wall. Let my cavalry have to come back deal with the archers so you guys get across go 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 at least you've knocked out one unit trying to attack the gate Forcing back these Janissary Musketeers, let's bring up the Colonial Line just to really add a bit more mass. Okay, let's shatter those archers so they don't come back. Charge in! Oh, they broke. Firelock arm citizenry, get over here. Good, they're shattered. Bring my cavalry back inside. Get my line infantry, form up here as a reserve. Use the armed citizenry first. Excellent, then let's charge my men across the wall. So the unit of archers and the unit of Muslim is still up on the wall. Getting there, wavering, they can't handle the charge. Muslim are the only people remaining on the board. Excellent. 
Excellent. Oh, they've started shooting again. Go get them, 12 pounders. Bit of friendly fire. Citizenry man the gate. Okay, let's get my troops off the wall. going to be what happens to those guns although I think there might be a bit of a bit of a challenge until the last guys are off the wall yeah they, they don't want to relocate until the last chaps off the wall then they'll man the fire step the artillery crew are routing actually lost the other gun so once they've left the field that'll be a victory for us yep because the cavalry can't get in excellent 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 so they've lost a lot of troops they've been pushed back in towards istanbul bit of a frustration but we can manage that so you're pushing south you're not going to attack just the city. That's interesting. It, bring, it allows us to bring our reinforcing army around the flank to hit them and push them back into the desert. So one of our armies in Ankara is going to sit there and gather their strength before advancing on Yerevan. And then the other will push towards that army and take them out. I may go out and try and grab some of these Georgian ships as well. Although they are they are moving on. Hey, the United States is in existence. Interesting. I mean, that might have happened earlier. I don't know. It's, it's new to me at this moment in time. 10,000. Again, yeah, it's that. Cutting off of our... Actually, oh, to be fair, only no. Actually, I think it is just our our armies now are just becoming a large burden. So, oh, and this needs replenishing. So let's take you out. Take the cavalry. Pronti. Minus four. See? To be fair, you're quite. You're GA. Yeah, you're a lot of horsemen now. You can. Rupe, avanti. Minus two. Signore. Pronti. In marcha. Zero. How Pronti. many can you afford to lose? In marcha. Avanti. Avanti. I want to say that should be okay. Build the church school. See? So we don't need to go mad. We just want to head a bit, head a bit west. Not crazy. And then you want to loop around to here. And smack Mr. Baghdadi. I heard him crying. I said, don't Baghdadi, don't cry. Oh, a lot of cavalry. Nothing much that will trouble us, though. We'll smash them and send them east. Then we will pursue them. 
all the way back to Baghdad, then we will take the city itself. I think one of my armies in Hungary is going to push up towards uh, Breslau to lay siege to that Prussian city. we are on the advance form a line and advance although actually apparently we can apparently we can can we deploy the way up here yeah for some reason it put us way to the back in our own deployment zone nice okay let's put our guns up here then with an excellent view split my pikemen up conscripts and grenadiers stick together because they generally attract enemy cavalry So they form square, but I've got my my pikemen are here. So they want to send in more. My ideas form square, pull my conscripts behind them. Pikemen pull back. Pikemen just roll straight into the camel nomads. Conscripts get in. He mentions after them. Armenian archers, especially bazooks. Push in. Form square. You may have to engage the Bashi bazooks, which isn't quite ideal. Mamelukes pushing in, but that's okay. You were the ones that were fighting the Bashi Bazooks, that's to be expected. Okay, let's fall back this line like so. Pull you men back. The Camel Nomads are advancing. Generals sat back here. Cav Regiment of Horse move up. Pull my cavalry out of this engagement. Okay, they're chasing after a couple of my units, which is a bit sad. Still, it gets them off our back. And my general's bodyguard up here, and my cavalry up here. We should attack the Israeli. Can chase after and protect those cavalrymen. Cavalry advance. Or infantry advance. Pikemen form up because those are janissaries. Point are you going to decide actually? Hmm. 
Push out my regiment of horse. Push the pikemen into the janissaries. You form square. That'll deal with the camel nomads. Oh, I might do a cheeky. Not a great idea to do this. But the camels generally have quite low morale. There we go. Chase them and kill them. Run away. Don't charge the Israeli. Engage them in a musket battle. Cavalry smash into the Bashi Bazooks. General, go get him as well. Kill them. Destroy that entire unit. Is. We have our reinforcements. You, now, you men, smash into the flank of those Israeli. They only keep running or just keep attacking them. Excellent. This Aurelia are under fire. Wrap my flank around. So they're just set out of range of my line. Bodyguard. Surprise! It's going to be a bit of fratricide here, but that's okay. No, my general, Mr. Asamani. He fell. He was a good general. He fought well. And I came along. Pull the cavalry back. There goes the enemy general. Yeah, we're going to continue, but we're not going to do probably not going to do a, do a huge amount of damage. Ultimately, lots of these guys are just archers. Let's try go for the. Israeli, see if we can knock out a line infantry unit. That'll be pretty good. Nice. They're going to escape, so it's all effectively on. You guys to kill the last of these archers. One guy left. Got him. Then it's you guys, but yeah, they're, they're out of here. If they keep running this straight line, they'll be fine. It was a bit dodgy at times, I admit. We need new general, we need to reinforce the army. Very well, one of my cavalrymen, Dimitrio Ferretti. 3,000 to replenish the, to, re to completely replenish the army, but that's okay. Just stand by as a bit of a guard. 
Let's take one of my weaker, really experienced units and let's fold them into the other infantry units. Excellent. That means you guys can push up and support. Excellent. 796. That can just about replenish you guys. So we'll wait and see what you're going to do. You're probably going to do some raiding. You or you? You, on the other hand, yeah? Put, just put Breslau under siege. Although, if they come at us, we might want more firepower in a big for a big battle. Let's do that. Let's back, back them up with another army. So if you come and attack us, that's a really good army. You're depleted, but not ever so. But we've got a full army up here backing you up. Your problem with the, I mean, all of the, all of these won't attack at once. But let's test the theory. Although I think now. Yes, quick lime. Stop what you're doing. Get quick lime. Strategic priority. Okay, we're up to eleven thousand in our income now. Let's hit enter. I mean, I wanted to see Jake because I want to see if I can draw one of their armies in to try fight us in a large field battle, pitched engagement. If they elect not to do that, then we will just continue to count down the siege of Breslau. Oh no! Spain is going to attack Naples. Okay, we need to deal with that now. It appears that Prussia is not going to do us the honour of engaging us. I mean, we can auto that. Back you go. <laughs> they didn't attack the city, they just sat next to it. Okay, the next episode has got a few quite key moments in it then. So we've got a... I mean, they're on. I mean, yeah, they have landed next to the city itself in Naples, so that's going to be. We can read. I think we can move an army from. Uh, <laughs> if I give you all my territories, a bunch of my territories, you'll become my protectorate. Uh, no. It's a fun offer, though. Okay, we're not going to be able to do any building in this episode, I think, because we're going to be spending all of our money reinforcing our armies. So, you guys, what have you got? I mean, a bunch of militia, not a very good army. Not Maybe not something I want to fight in the open field with, but, but we know it's pretty poor. So you can get to the ships, the ships can get to Naples, we can disembark in the port, run up and garrison it, that's fine. We have rebels that have popped up, but that will be the last of it. You could you could go after them, but I don't want to minimize I don't want to risk losing my momentum towards the port. Okay, so. Signore. You will re-engage them. You will re-engage them. Okay, first of all, you have to kind of abandon this. Move one of our sloops out. You men in the bark. Sail over, get this sloop out of the way. 
Capitano. Disembark the army. No, they can't get in. Okay, in which case then? Oh, that's a those though uh, you may be you may be um, about to try and recapture the city. Can you guys you guys can't get out because they're within range of the attacking army. My cavalry are going to move up as close as possible. My infantry are going to move up as fast as possible. Just to try to see if they can get within range of the city. Which they may well have done, but we'll find out. So you're replenishing. Okay, you're going to recruit some dragoons. A, we need cavalry. B, dragoons are good for policing. Then you're going to come around to here and attack Mr. Baghdadi again. And we will do battle with him to force him back into the desert. I think we're at, yeah, we're going to be, we're at a point where we're starting to get a bit overwhelmed. So I think we need to take out the uh, Ottomans. They're just causing too much, too much hassle. Form my battle line and I'm going to just artillery the bejesus out of them. Slight rise. Okay, deploy, deploy. Next pan infantry here. Keep everyone on the left flank this time. With a new general. We have a very depleted army now, but we had to do something about it anyway. Start to manoeuvre the flank. Ooh, this is going to look ugly. So many characters. This army could do with howitzers. Oh, they're charging. We're in a bit of a bit of a uh, bad spot there, actually. This infantry unit. Camels. There you go, their precious Mamelukes. Pikeman charge in. My infantry line advance. Slightly better looking line. Grenadiers hold in the low ground. Go on, little men with pokey sticks. Give 
my general out on the flank. I need to get him in position, ready to start doing some mopping up and getting some chevrons. My artillery go after their general's bodyguard. up towards the Armenian archers. You can't really see them from there, but you can do enough damage. Slaughter them! I think the general's body, the artillery fire is going to cease. We're going to jump in and go after the general's bodyguard. My general's bodyguard is going to avoid the engagement. Instead, they're going to go try chop up some Armenian archers. Get a bit of experience under his belt. sure we kill that general. Let's try kill the unit. The general's bodyguard. Kill the general. Got him. Let's continue. General successfully wiped out a unit of archers. She maybe try go for a unit like that. See if my general can actually get an experience chevron. Yeah, you got one. Good general. I mean, in an ideal world, this army will vanish, but. I don't think we're going to get that. If they did, we could just focus on... Well, we could then start to march on Baghdad. Take Baghdad, force them into a peace deal. Because without Baghdad, they can't resist. I think that would be quite a good outcome. Um, it would put us into big trouble with the Persians, because they suddenly start throwing stacks after stacks after stacks of troops at us. Excellent. Move east. Reinforce. Keep so I want to keep some troops in the area. For my protection. I mean, yes, this guy may well go around and raid the university and do some bits and pieces, but they will be magnetically attracted to the capital. So. Okay, right. So they've not come after us. Instead, they have marched a lone army towards us. It's a very good army, make no mistake. Field Marshal of Europe, no less, in there. First of all... Get Vienna to recruit a couple of units of line infantry. Because then Luca Komin is going to smash into Kurt Christoph von Schwerin. Smash into him, destroy his force, send him scuttling back. And we might even be able to take Breslau because that already caused some problems. Then we'll start to cut off their army from their eastern resupply. Well, effectively, we're, gonna, we're forcing them to try and come eastward by dismantling some of their armies one at a time. But looking at the timer, I believe it's time to end the episode. So thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed. And we'll see you next time as we bring the Prussians um, to battle. See you, everyone.